Hey everybody, so we are here at WWDC and there was a lot of cool AR kit news today. Uh, one of the standout demonstrations on stage was from LEGO uh, and we have Martin from LEGO here who's got some cool stuff to talk about. So we had a physical model that you brought to life and it came with all this rich content and this world and that really for us was amazing. But then it also had a twist to it where we had multiplayer. So now up to four players can now create together in the same space and that's truly magic as well. What was possible in this build that you know you would have been unable to do in ARKit 1.0? Like, what functionality were you adding? Uh, exactly. I think the the big turning point and the big kind of gateway technology for us was object detection. So before we could create um, virtual versions of our Lego sets and bring them to life in AR, now we can use our 3D objects to really anchor the worlds now. So that was that was it really. So how do you think augmented reality? plays well with physical toys and you know as so many people kind of worry about their kids only playing with you know their iPad or something like how does this relationship between physical toys and digital you know tablets and stuff like how does that relationship benefit Lego in the long run you know parents have often had a little stigma attached to a lot of screen time uh, but they've always loved the idea that kids are, have a hands-on minds on experience uh, and now we get that bridge, literally with object detection, it bridges that gap and it mixes the realities seamlessly. So we think kids are going to have more of this uh, parallel experience, so they'll have their digital device and they'll have their physical toys together. And with that, it'll open up all these great creative play possibilities. So I think it'll be received quite well by parents and obviously by children. Um, and obviously for us it's very exciting to have our product anchored in those very rich digital experiences that were before that exclusively a video game. It opens up all the richness of video games into the physical world really well. So yeah, we're looking forward to that. Um, and then one last thing. So, um, you know, a lot of the developers who saw ARKit 2 today, they're going to go download the beta and play with it a little bit. You've had some time to actually work with ARKit 2. Like, has anything kind of surprised you? Any features? Like, you knew object recognition was going to be huge for being able to build this app, but did anything else kind of surprise or impress you? Or The multi-user support, it seems like such a simple feature, but to create together is uh, the next level, I think. You know, it really turns a corner from a creative perspective when you and your friend can sort of collaborate compete and do all these great things. You start thinking about games you can make together, stories you can make together. So I think that for us is a, oh, there's another light bulb went off where multi-user support is a kind of a hidden gem as well. So we're looking forward to really kind of diving into that world.